plate tectonic theory. 1965 it came, it is the most, generally uh, the name given is W. J. Morgan, uh, 1965. The most acceptable has scientific basis and explanation for almost all the features on the surface of the earth. First, it suggests that earth's lithosphere is divided into several plates, right? It identifies six major and more than twenty minor plates. <coughs> it suggests that plates are moving <coughs> independently and with the mechanism of the plate movement variety of landforms are produced Now, first the basics of it, we will discuss three things. First is, uh, what do we mean by plate? Second is, how the plates are formed. Third is, what are the forces which cause the movement of the plates? Or, why these plates are moving? There are three questions which we will try to answer. Right? Why do uh, 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 these? Uh, what do we mean by plate? So, plate is basically a three dimensional figure. entity or part of lithosphere that is roughly 100 kilometers thick, right, which is, which has margin and boundary. the marginal part or the side walls of the plate is called plate margin. Whereas, the base or the surface trace of motion uh, 
is called plate boundary. Right, hope we understand. What is the margin? Let us say, suppose this is a plate. So, what is the marginal part? All the side walls is margin. Right? This is surface trace of motion or base of the plate, is called boundary. Getting that point? Right? So, when we say divergent boundary, that means this is diverging. When we say margin, constructive, destructive margin, so what is happening to the side walls and how the base is behaving. This, when we talk about the three types of movement, you always read that convergent boundary or destructive margin. So, when the, there is a convergent boundary, so, the boundary is converging, that means base is converging, coming towards each other and the margin will experience collision, so destruction. When we say divergent boundary, so boundary is moving away from each other and the magma is coming from below and it is deposited, getting deposited on the side walls, so constructive margin, divergent boundary. Hope we are getting that. Don't worry. This is clear. <coughs> what is three dimensional part? Hope it is clear. Right? Now, how the plates are formed? So, first, it has also taken the help of convection current theory uh, of Arthur Home, but also, uh, but a bit different. Right. He suggests that plates are cracked or develop fissure along the line of the rising column of magma. Right? This rising column results into up dooming of the plate develop cracks on the surface. Outline its boundary and subside to form a rift valley. Where? Up doming. Doming. Up doming of the part at the plate develop cracks on the surface, outlines its boundary and subside to form rift valley the push effect from here results gradually forms or delineate the outer boundary of the plate and gradually become independent from the rest part 
of the lithosphere. Imagine, I am applying a force here, right? So what will happen? First, before it breaks, a crack will be developed here, right? Before the development of crack, it will be pushed upward, bulging. That is updoming. So what happens? And here is a very single line I am talking about. Now imagine the magma is coming in the whole class, and this class has a continuous uh, ceiling throughout. So when the magma is coming from this wall till this wall, so it will result into upliftment of the entire area. So first the area will be slightly abdomed here, so that the outer boundary is being delineated now, that plate is going to be broken, so it is pushing them upward. So initially heating and all upliftment will result into pushing, then outer boundary, then cracks will be developed and the crack will develop when the outer boundary is delineated that will subside and that is how first. Uh, part of the or first phase of the plate formation is being completed. Now when the magma comes upward, it keeps on pushing it. Now look at here, only this part has been de uh, developed a crack, right? Rest is perfectly attached. When this magma is pushing this apart, just imagine that there is no further crack. But if you keep on pushing from that wall to this wall, so what will happen? Th there will be a crack developed in that direction also. That is how gradually that side walls will be generated because of the push of this and a plate will be singly created or single handedly created from the mid oceanic ridge part, that is how the ridge will be developed. Yes. The outer boundary of the plate will be delineated. Let us suppose in this, this pen itself, I am applying force from here till here. So it is a vertical only vertical force, it has no attachment with the rest of the body, a single open, open air, so it can break very easily. Now imagine I am trying to break uh, this uh, dais uh, mid, on the middle of it. So on the middle of it, imagine the magma is coming. So it has created a fissure from here till here. But this part is also having uh, rocks or continental area, this part is also having. Now the magma is coming and it is trying to push up till here only and this dais is much much bigger than what is, is visible right now. So it is trying to push it, suppose only this part is being pushed, right? So this part will not be easily delineated basically because this is attached with the rest of the body. But here you have good amount of push. So the continuous push, that is why it is a million years phenomena. So when continuously being pushed, just take one side. So it is being pushed very heavily, gradually, continuously. So what will happen? On, along this side, first the cracks or side walls will be delineated. And after a point of time, this entirely is delineated. Then I imagine the magma is flowing from below also. So like a single plate will be created, right? And thus being pushed and then somewhere it will be pulled as well, clear? Sure. Chalo, mujhe bhi samaj maa gaya. Pahle mujhe bhi samaj maa gaya. Now, third part. Plates are divided. Mm. That's why the like 
टेम्पोरल प्रेशर जो एक जगह प्रेशर पड़ रहा है एक्स्ट्रा जब प्लेट्स जनरेट कर रहे हो Yes, wherever the fissure eruption is taking place, there you will have the delineation part or the beginning of the formation of plate. So, fissure eruption is basically radiogenic heat, the basics of volcanism and the radiogenic heat is creating fissures and that fissure which is being radiated the landforms will be formed. So, magma will come where the energy is there. Everywhere there is no radioactive minerals or no asthenosphere having that deposition. So, wherever in the pockets the magma is being created, that area will be more suitable for the formation of uh, a plate or beginning of a plate movement. So, the number of plates can increase uh, eventually? Yes. That's why, that's why it is a mystery. That's why first of the criticism of plate tectonic th theory is that uh, we don't know exactly that how many number of plates are there. Yes. It can? Yes. It can decrease with the convergence. Hmm. The plate has uh, already decreased. Earlier Indian plate was there. The moment Indian plate is colliding against the Eurasian plate, once it is, uh, it is uh, still demarcated, once it gets established, now there is no movement, so the whole plate will be a single plate. Ah, welding. Exactly. Huh? Maybe, like for example, East African Rift Valley, have you heard the name? So, that is a believed site for the divergence, present day divergence which is happening. But the divergence is not complete. It is still in the form of series of rift valley which is not properly connected with each other. No, I'll explain only when you feed me a chocolate. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. But remember that chocolate is a single piece which is which doesn't have connection with the rest of the thing. And a plate is a, is a part of the spherical earth. So when a part is being cracked, crack, imagine earth, just let's say suppose, imagine any of the part which is being cracked here, right? Now, just imagine that it is intact. So, it is being cracked here. This part only is being cracked. So, what will happen? Rest is attached. This is also attached. This is also attached. When it starts pushing, so it will delineate according to that. It is not necessarily that delineating this way. In the process of pushing, this might also gradually develop without uh, having magma also. Enjoy it. Huh? Raw egg is a structural example, like we, when we discuss about the structure of the earth, the egg is a very good example of a structure of the earth. Now, if you want to crack, develop cracks on the uh, egg, right, so egg may have development crack, still the filament will be attached. So, if it is a single piece, then that is a plate. That independence of the single plate or the formation of the single plate is associated with fundamentally not only, but fundamentally what is happening along the ridge or rising column of magma. Now, we are looking it at a single entity, but what is happening at the convergence is also an important part. So, delineation is a combined effect of the movement of plate mechanism. How does the plate move and why the plate should move, right? If you look at that aspect, then you can understand the formation of plate itself very easily. So, why the plate should move? Now, look at here, each of the plate has a divergence and a convergence as well. So, when the plate is formed, first thing is that when the plate is being formed along the mid oceanic ridges, up doming will take place, right? So, you start from there, that is what you call how the plate will be formed. It is starts with in the bookish language what you call a ridge push, slab pull. Third is uh, 
mental plum that is uh, sorry a density differentiation. and gravity variation. Or temperature variation, those all of are interlinked. When we say ridge push, this is also called a uh, mental plumb. mental plumb. Mental plumb means the rising column of magma, right. Imagine uh, this is a a piece of lithosphere which is being hit by the rising column of magma. Right? New York Sayaho. Huh? New York Sayaho. You are behaving like the woman, oh my god, cockroach. Nee? Enjoy it? Now we are taking hands. Yeah, hands for the life. Enjoy it. Bhagavad ne kya isko? The class khatam hone ke baad. So, the moment this is there, look at here, rising column of magma means high temperature, right? high temperature, now initially the updoming will take place, this part, this part will be updomed. Now the moment updoming is taking place, first thing is that, now look at this newly created plate, in a nutshell it is something like that, not maybe that visible, but to understand this, right. The entire portion will have <coughs> high temperature relatively the marginal part or the other side of the plate, low temperature. High temperature means lighter, heavier, any doubt? So density differentiation and because of density differentiation, the slope is being created, right? This has resulted into slope means gravity variation, hopefully we can understand, right. Now third stage it is being broken, so actually now the plate is something like this, any doubt? Right? So, slope is being created now when the magma is coming, it will push away. That is what you call ridge push. When here it is descending into what we call trench, this is what we call slab pull. Clear? Eh? Sure, no? This is what we call mental plum.
slap pull. Like, uh, just imagine, the entire plate is attached. So if this is moving down, so in the process, rest of the plate will also be pulled down. Yes. Heavier, heavier is generating basically the gravity variation, or the slope. Slap pull is altogether a different thing. So it's not only any single factor, but movement of plate is a result of the multiple factor, which includes all these. And if suppose you are supposed to explain it, explain in this manner. What, what is the mental plumb? Then what will be the result of mental plumb in the case of movement of plates? First, it will increase the temperature, will result into updoming, then updoming after being broken, ridge push, then updoming results into slope creation, gravity variation, resulting into an automatic smooth, uh, uh, at least a condition for the smooth slow movement. And now, the mental plumb is providing a slippery surface. What, what is this uh, continental dip theory has suggested that Seal is floating over Sima. What is that? Lithosphere is moving over asthenosphere. Asthenosphere and the horizontal column of magma is providing the base for the smooth movement of the plate. Clear, eh? Sure. Now the types of the movement, types of the plate movement. Divergent boundary or the same is constructive margin. The second is convergent boundary or destructive margin. And third is the conservative boundary or passive margin. Example of first is you break it here when the plate is moving in these two directions, divergent boundary. The same is here when these two plates are moving towards each other, convergent boundary. And the example of third is. This plate is moving independently and this boundary is conservative. This is also called transform fault. That means this is called transform fault. The term plate was first used by Tuzo Wilson, after which you have the name called Wilson cycle, that Pangaea formation, disintegration and again formation is a continuous phenomenon. No. Uh, Let us say suppose this plate is moving and this is the part. Now if it is moving like this other plate is coming, this is convergent, moving from away, divergent. Now what is happening here in this? Nothing. Neither magma is coming. What is coming here in the divergent boundary? Neither destruction or collision is taking place. What is happening here? 
So what is happening here? Here. This is a static part of the land and the plate is moving. For the independent movement of plate, this plate must be detached from here. And that detachment is called conservative boundary. One is huh? One is and is moving. This also may move. This may also be moving but they are moving independently and the crack which is providing them a smooth movement without actually either involved in collision in the form of uh, convergent or divergent that is conservative. Is yes. Kabhi kabhi attack jayega na? Because RE se kata hua to hai nahi. But if some part is projected of this plate which is moving like this and this get stuck somewhere. So it has to break in the process of that displacement of rock, earthquakes, right? Like San Andreas Fault is a very famous and more, most widely studied uh, uh, transform fault or the conservative boundary along the California coast. So that is the best example of conservative boundary and experiences very regular earthquakes. Sir, uh, all the three uh, processes are always happening if there is a break movement. Yes, has to happen. Somewhere there is divergence, somewhere there is convergence. Is there any prominence of any movement? Like in displacement of convergent That is the criticism of the plate tectonic theory. Like if the divergence is there, convergence is there, earth size is not increasing, then there must be uniform. The rate of divergence must be uniform, similar to rate of convergence. But that's not there. Very often it has been found that they are different. Has to be compensated. Has to be compensated. Otherwise the earth size should increase. There should be increase in earth size, circumference. But that's not also taking place. Okay. Today we will continue this way. Thank you and take care.